the demoniacal fit, ultra instinct, Guko. Ah, oh, it's not for Goku. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulus, and today is sort of an unboxing and assembly video. And what I have here is the Ultra Instinct Guko, aka Goku. Not Guko. Obviously, they can't use Goku. And they also can't use SH Figure Arts, but we all know what this is. This is a replacement headset for Goku so you can get that Ultra Instinct look. So let's just jump right into it. I'm just going to tell you what we're going to do today. Some people will have trouble sticking the heads into the pegs. And what I have here is a quarter cup of hot water. And we're going to custom fit the head into the peg. What I have here is Saiyan Race on Earth Goku and Super Saiyan Awakening Goku. Now, some people might have it easy, some people won't, but I already tested this set out and apparently mine isn't that loose. It actually is really hard to get in, so I have. So I said, what an opportunity to show you guys how I'm gonna do this. And also, a lot of people in the comments, I notice, how do you fix these toys? How do you loosen them up and stuff like that? This will answer your question on how to loosen up a joint, okay? So this is what I did. Quarter cup of water, stuck it in the microwave for a minute and a half. Now it's piping hot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna outfit the head to, or so what we're gonna take here is the instinct head. But before we dunk that in, Let's give it a quick look. Now, here's something I thought that this head was. I honestly thought it was just painted silver, but actually what we have here is kind of like this opaque, clear silver look. I, know, I don't know if the camera can truly catch it. It does look silver on camera, but if you have this up close, you'll notice that it's actually somewhat clear, which is a really nice effect. They kind of did the same thing with the uh, Super Saiyan blue heads. So, yeah, looking really sharp. So this is how we're gonna do it. I pulled off this head really easy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dunk this into the, into the water. Ooh, that's really hot. For about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, hot, hot, hot. Honestly, I did not mean to dunk it. I just meant to dip it. Brush it off a little bit. Pretty sure it was in there for about 10 seconds. And look at that. Just gotta blow off all that water. And what we have here is a darn near perfect fit. And let's just be sure, let's remove the face. And let's try to straighten that neck onto it. it looks like it's a little too tight of a fit still. All right, let's see if we can get that. Okay, that looks better. Managed to get that to fit well. Now they've got the head on. And there you go, easy peasy. That fit is really nice once you get that, the, the hot water mod is what I call this. And it looks, oh wow, I really love the way this looks. This, the Super Saiyan Awakening body with the uh, Ultra Instinct head. Whew, this is, this is beautiful. I really like this. All right, so what I have here is um, Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. And let's look at the almost instinct head. Let's look real close there. And what we have here is another kind of like clear opaque black. I honestly thought it was going to have like just highlights of silver according to the pictures, but no, I was incorrect. It's just kind of like this clear opaque black. really love this hair sculpt. Man, Demoniacal Fit is knocking it out of the park with these. All right, so let's get it fit on Goku. This head should just come off real easy. And this one was the hard one. Yep, this is really tough. So this time, instead of dunking it, I'm just gonna try my best to keep it dip. As you can see, let's see if I can. So you just want the, the hole where the peg goes in to just kind of just be in the hot water. If you can put it on the hot water, it's fine. Just don't leave it in there for too long. I'm just going to count to 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a quick 10, but that's okay because that water is really hot. And then we're going to plug that guy in. 
Actually, let's remove that and let's see if it does do a nice fit. Remove the face. And look at that, just like that. Super easy, fits right in. Was really hard at first. Now, because we have the hot water mod, we have that. Now let's look real close at that. Ooh, that looks really cool. That hair going up. It's almost like almost Super Saiyan, but not quite. Oh, that's, well, it looks like he's transforming into Super Saiyan, but you know, he's turning into Ultra Instinct. Looks really cool. All right, so let's put these two together. And look at that, looking really sharp. So let's start looking at the faces. So what we have here is a yelling face for Ultra Instinct. We, you can tell what they're for is because, let's look close again, is they have uh, silver eyebrows. So that's how you can tell. So let's do a quick face swap. We gotta check them out. And that's how he looks like. Ooh, I really like that face. That face looks really cool with that hair. I think that one's my favorite. And of course we have the yelling face. And there it is. Looking really sharp. And of course, let's see if we can put the almost instinct is what I call it. And we have a yelling face and we have a grinning face. And they're black, he has black eyebrows, but still we can put those on. There you go, that's the yelling face. Looks like the forehead's a little bit too big. Eh, it's fine, it's fine. I think it's okay. At certain angles, it looks like it's too big, but it's it's actually okay. And there we have it, just the grinning face. And that looks really cool, too. Okay, let's put these two together. So, where did I get these? I got these on AliExpress. I believe they were $25 shipped. Um, and actually, this one was packed really well, to my surprise. Usually, AliExpress is just, ugh, just really bad on their uh, on their packaging, you know what I mean? Like, this is very rarely do I get them to look this good. I guess we should do a quick up and down, but mostly what we should be focusing on is this. This is beautiful right there. And yeah, it looks really solid. I'd say go for it if you want an Ultra Instinct Goku and you don't want to wait for SH Figure Arts. Of course, you're going to have to get an extra Goku. Now, I know that this Goku, um, Super Saiyan Awakening that has not received a re-release. There's still a bunch out there, but they're going for around 60 to 70 bucks. Um, I'm actually starting to think that I might have to get a bootleg just to see if it'll work. But I really love how tight these joints are. Also, I do have a spare um, action figure of Super Saiyan Awakening. It's just, oh, I don't want to open it. I've kind of kept it in my collection unopened. I really love the packaging on that one. And I don't know if I should open it for this, but I'm starting to think, yeah, because, man, these faces are amazing. Highly recommend it, guys. Anyway, guys, I know this is a kind of a short video, but uh, yeah, have a good one. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.
right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe, right here, right there, right here.